Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a card flip animation in Figma. So without any further ado, let's quickly see a demo of this and then we can get started. So here I have the file. I'm going to hit on the preview button right here. So here we have it loaded up. And once I click on the card, you can see the flip of the card happening. And this is what we're going to create in today's video. So this animation is actually very simple, but it's a bit tricky to achieve a perfect look. So to understand the complete process, make sure you watch this till the end. But if you want to just use it in your project, just jump to the last section in this video where I've created an interactive component community file where you can just replace the front and the back card and directly use it in your project. So I'm just going to delete these frames right here and we're going to start from the scratch. So I'm going to use an iPhone 8 frame right here. So I'll just place it here. And here, as you can see, I have the front card design and I have the back card design as well. You can just use an image or you can have a vector design like this. You can just create it. So I'll just take this onto the frame right here. So I'm just going to place it maybe in the center. So the first and the main feature that we're going to use to achieve this is a horizontal flip so you can find that in the object menu right here which is horizontal flip and vertical flip or you can directly use a shortcut which is shift h so i'm just going to duplicate a frame right here and in the second frame i'm going to flip this so shift and h so there you can see it's flipped and now let's try to prototype this and see what happens when i animate these two frames so i link it to the next frame right here and let's keep it at thousand milliseconds so that you can see what is happening and then i'm going to link this back to the first one which is the same settings let's preview this so it's loaded up and once I click you can see that the animation is done it's very simple right but no once you bring in your back card layer that is when we're going to face issues so let's see what happens when I introduce a back card layer so I put the back card also onto this frame right here exactly overlapping the first one but I'm going to flip this in first case because we want the flipped back card here and the normal one here right so shift h it's flipped I'll just take it back which is command and the bracket or you can just drag it from here so it's gone back I'll just copy it and put it in the second frame but here we want it properly so again shift h which will flip it so that's it we are done so as per a normal assumption this should actually work but let's see what happens i hit on preview you see that right as soon as i click the back card layer first comes in and then the flip happens which is not what we expect right so until the flip of the back layer is complete, the front layer shouldn't be visible. So to fix this, we are going to use a mask layer. So that is the best thing I could think of. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, use a mask so that I'm just going to use the card shape here. So I'll just copy the card shape. So here we have it. I'll just rename this to mask so that we can easily identify it. So I'll just duplicate it. So two masks for both of these layers. I'll just take this down. So this one is for the front card. So I'm going to select the front card and this one just mask it, which is the option right here I'll do the same thing with this one as well just masked it so here we have two layers which are masked but since the mask layer is exactly on that layer you'll be able to see the complete card but once I move the mask layer that is when the masking happens so if you can see here this is a front card mask if I try to move it you can see that the layer is getting masked right so in the first frame what we want to do is we want to mask the back layer right so here I have the back layer mask and I'm just going to move it to the left completely to the left so that the complete back layer is not visible so if you can see here i've just moved it completely to the end if you want to see that i'll just hide this layer of the front one and you can see that the back layer is completely masked with this layer right so that is what we have achieved with the mask layer and i'll just turn this on as well I'll just delete this because we already have the mask in the first frame. I'll just duplicate this. So in this one, what I'm going to do is bring the mask layer of the back one exactly back to the center so that our back card is visible properly. But in this frame, I want the front card to be masked. So what I'll do, I'll select the front card mask layer and I'll move it towards the right so that our front card is completely hidden. And next thing we're going to do is in this case, the front card is proper and the back card, if you can see, has to be flipped. And if you want to know if your card is flipped or not horizontally flipped or not just check this angle right here so a horizontally flipped card will be at 180 degrees so this is just a way to know it and in this case I want the back card to be normal so I'll just use shift h that is done but the front card should be flipped so if you can see the front card is at zero degrees so once I do a shift h it changes to 180 and we are pretty much done now let's see what happens so our prototyping is gone because we deleted the frame I'm gonna link this to the this card right Right here and this frame to this frame I think everything is uh, good hopefully it should work so let's preview it and there you go guys we have the flip properly working
Okay, so that was the process on how to create this. And now let's quickly see the component that we built that you can directly use in your project. So that is there in this 3D card flip page. So all you gotta do is just change or bring in your design onto this layer that is a front card design. So here I have two images that I took from the internet. So these are just images. I just wanted to show you an example right here. So I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just gonna come here and paste. So you can see that it just got applied. And this one as well, I'm just gonna copy it and paste it in the back layer so that is also done and now all you got to do is just click on this demo layer and preview it and there you go you have the animation directly so you just have to replace these layers and here you have the component just place it wherever you want and that will just work exactly as you want it so you can see here and the Figma community file for this is there in the description below. So go ahead and check it out. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you found this informative and helpful. Thanks for watching.